<laughs> Merry Christmas, Lou. So I've booked you from the 20th to the 29th of January off work. Yana sent me, Mick and Corey to Bali for a boys trip. But she had a challenge for us. Welcome to Bali guys. We're here. That's easier. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So. yeah, 50 bucks Australian to get in, so that's what the visa is. You have to keep that. Um yeah, the little bit of paper. Yeah. So yeah. 50 bucks Australian, nice and easy. Not like the last time I came here, you had to fill out forms and shit and... Yeah. All right, on to immigration. <laughs> Let's go through. So as you can see behind me, there's a whole bunch of taxi drivers. When you come out, that's where all your already pre-booked ones are. Um, and then yeah, if you keep walking, you just keep walking all the way out and you'll find taxis. Quick? No, 150, 150. Oh, we'll, give you, we'll give you 150. Yeah. <laughs> Mick's busy negotiating our taxi while me and Corey are smoking. Okay. Oh, we're gonna die on the way. Right, so we got one for 15 bucks. Is this your whip? Ah, oh, sweet. Beautiful. My boss's car. Oh, your boss's car. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your all day. <laughs> Our flight was em empty. Only about 50, 60 people on it. Yeah, you on a plane? Yeah, the plane was very empty. It was weird. We're going down to the airport for 30 minutes. Yeah. 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes Ooh. to get out of the airport. Get off the plane and get out. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> very quick. Because you not bring the legit. No ladies. Yeah. No yeah. After the kids. I have a wife and three kids. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're at home. <laughs> we arrived in the evening and went to the hotel to check in our bags. Sheridan, Mick doesn't rate it. Corey thinks it's okay. It's not a bad hotel, it's a bit expensive. Um, so we're taking a walk down the street, we just got some water. Thirsty as hell. After that flight. Thirsty. Yeah, just having a bit of a wonder and a bit of a look. Hey buddy. Hey. Yeah. It's 10.43 at night. And as you can see, there's still plenty of life in this town. Indonesians seem to stay up late and get up late. A bit like Corey. <laughs> and Mick. <laughs> yeah. Exchanging money in Bali is super easy. We recommend using proper shops rather than market stalls. Everything in Bali is negotiable, even the exchange rate. You just have to ask, but don't be rude. Yeah, so changing money is as easy as that. Yeah, so I'm getting a scooter to go to Mickey D's because I'm freaking hungry. 
And yeah, 50,000 rupee. Oh, oh, it's not too bad, five bucks to get to Macca's. Hey, lovely lady. Yes. <laughs> I have a wife. <laughs> and three kids. Hey, you going, dog? What are you doing? <laughs> what a bike. Oh, Mick. Yeehoo! <laughs> yeah, man. Jumping on a scooter is a cheap, easy, fun and fast way to get around town. It'll cost you around 5 to $10 to get around Cooter. There are also apps like Gojek and Grab if you want to avoid the bartering. After a well-deserved sleep, it was up early for breakfast. Yep. So my favorite thing in the whole wide world, as everybody knows, is buffet breakfast. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. So Sheraton Four Points Hotel, I rate this probably a 7 out of 10. Not a bad feed. Yeah, for the price of the room it was a bit expensive, but the breakfast makes up for it. Alright, so we just left the buffet breakfast and we're heading down the street to change over some money for Yumi yeah. or Corey, both of them. So, yeah. After that, we'll go and get the scooters and go for a bit of a burn. Should be good. Ooh, puppy. Not happy with the price. Don't buy it. 20 bucks he wanted for that wallet. Probably pay for that. And we wanted 35 to start with, drop down to 20. But you can probably buy that at five the shops bucks. in five fucking bucks. Perth for 20. No, you get it for five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Five bucks is mixed price. Five bucks all day. I'm tight. <laughs> yeah. Even though he wants a fat wallet to fit all his cash in. <laughs> He's tight. We're at the next market, like probably. 20 meters down the road, and Mick's going for another wallet. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's thin enough for you, Mick. He needs that. <laughs> yeah, he needs that. <laughs> Which one do you like better? Good price. Morning price. Yeah, morning price. Yeah. <laughs> when are you coming, guys? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Stay here. 
Uh, nowhere. We're renting motorbikes and going up north. Oh! Yeah, go. Go, oh, dear, dear. Yeah, go to the top of the no. island and have a look around and. Not spend money, eh? <laughs> no, not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back with me. Have a nice day. <laughs> Cheers. The locals are always so friendly here, man. You just, you ever want to chat, just stop in a market. They're fantastic. Corey, you didn't take So it's 9.30 in the morning, and the boys are straight into their own cocktails. Oh, and the I am too. So <laughs> yeah, see how this day goes. We're gonna pick up the bike soon, and have a good day. That's it, I left the boys behind at the bar and I am heading back to the hotel for a brew and to grab some money. So yeah, it's raining a little, which has made it so much nicer because it was stinking hot earlier. And yeah, well, um, hopefully it doesn't rain too much more because this is actually quite nice. Yeah. So it rained a lot earlier, but it's fucking beautiful out here. Um, yeah, it's keeping me nice and cool. I don't want to hotel anyway, so that's it there. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is the best part about Bali, is it's always hot. Even when it's raining, it's, it's still hot. So yeah, this doesn't bother me one bit. Now I look like I'm participating in a wet t-shirt competition. <laughs> White shirt in the rain's not very good. We got. We just got 200,000 whole packets. So as you can see, we're sitting at this bar on the street, and <laughs> yeah, they're trying to sell us everything, everything they can get. So we literally just paid 200,000. Four. <laughs> So we went up the road and they wanted to charge us $17 a day for the bikes. 25. And yeah. And we said no 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 no. And we went back to the guy that we'd already organized them for and hey, yeah, how are you? Hey, hey. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Welcome to Bali. What's your tattoo shop? Benazari Tattoo Studio. Benazari, just Bali. behind him, yeah. Good, good tattoo. Did mix tattoo on his chest. Oh, it's clean, yeah, and good job. So I have a challenge for you. You need to reach the most northern, southern, eastern and western points of Bali. This can be done in a day or two if you really push it. But I want you to take your time. I want you to really see the countryside, meet the local people, enjoy every little part of it. You will have to find hotels on the way. Consider it training for when we go to India. <laughs> We got the bikes for 11 bucks a day for eight days. Make sure you check over them thoroughly. The pack, can you buy one? The pack. Yeah. No, this one, no fuel cap. <laughs> Where can we get one? My bike was missing the fuel cap, which wasn't a big problem, but I was a little bit worried. It's okay. No problem, no problem. Hey, it's okay. 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 It's and see where we end up. We're not gonna go too far today because we're all pretty tired still. Um, late night at Mickey D's, an adventure. <laughs> so yeah, we'll um, see you on the road. So we just stopped into the vape shop for Mick and Corey. They're gonna get themselves some vapes. Uh, I'm still trying to find a petrol cap. This mine is just leaking fuel everywhere as I'm riding. It's not good, but yeah, hopefully we'll find one soon. So the locals eat out of the back of these little carts just ride around and then they cook some and sell them and uh,
right in down Legion Street, I think it is, down along the beach. Busy as. Um, yeah, very busy down here, very hectic. Mick tried to take us out on the highway and it was just insane. So yeah, trying to film and ride is very hard, so there might not be much filming from the motorbike, but yeah, we'll um, see how it goes. Might try and buy a, buy a GoPro mount. Yeah, so I can um, film and ride at the same time, have a chat to you all. But like I said, especially through here, it's very hard. You know, I've got one hand on the brake and one hand to accelerate. If I get in a bit of strife, I'm stuffed. So, yeah, it's gonna be a bit hard. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Still haven't got a petrol cap for my bike. Leak fuel, every bump we go over. Yeah. People everywhere, still there's a lot of tourists around. It's not too busy yet, it's only midday. Um, yeah, still a lot of construction going on. Obviously COVID really impacted this place really bad. So you know, it's very hard on them, a lot of places to shut. But yeah, well, um, hopefully Bali will bounce back. It seems to be going good. Oh, Flapjack's my favorite. They're crepes with Nutella, oh, to die for. Yeah, uh, I gotta put the camera away now because picking that up miles ahead, so I gotta try and catch up without crashing. I might just be able to slip the gap here. Maybe this is what I'm looking at. Seems like we're hooning along, we're only doing 40. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's good. Hopefully, we'll get out of the city soon and get out into the countryside so we can see, you know more of the jungle and a bit less of the urban pavement. Boss. Uh, call everyone boss here. Yeah, a little respect goes a long way. So, uh, yeah, that's the construction I was talking about, They're trying to just rebuild everything that's you know, gone a bit pear-shaped over COVID. Yeah, I don't know if you can see Mick and Corey up ahead, but a little bit up there, squeeze this gap. This guy in front of me, Gojek. It's like the Balinese version of Uber. So, you know, if you want to go somewhere cheap, you know, you're not going to rent a motorbike, that's the place to do it. Here we are at the beach. Pretty much just park your scooter anywhere you want and yeah, go for a walk. Beach side market, so lots of little stuff. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> we, um... Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm all good. Yeah, some dresses. Pretty dress for Mick. Uh, looks like it's going pretty good here. So I'll come back here on my last day maybe and buy some stuff. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> I'm waiting you in Bali. That's right, YouTube. I love long time. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough for my trip, but I'll come back and shop when at the end. <laughs> so if you're ever going to say that, they will remember your face. If you come back through here and you've said you'll shop, they, you have to shop. They won't let you get away until you come back and buy something. So, and they will remember your face for years. Hello, ma'am. No, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> How are you, brother? <laughs> no, no, I'm all good. No shopping today. I'll come back at the end of my trip. These market holders sites are only temporary whilst they renovate the shops that they're usually in. So we'll see these guys at the end, come back and go shopping. These guys are all very friendly. <laughs> yeah, yep. No bullshit price. No bullshit price, fixed price here. <laughs> Down at Kuta Beach, very friendly too. Yeah. <laughs> so right now we're just heading north, um, up to Changu. Sort of area we don't know really where we're going we're just taking all these roads along the beach and yeah 
try and get as north as we can out of the tourist zone. And um, then we'll find ourselves a hotel, maybe go for a swim. We're all pretty tired today, so yeah, we can all do with a good rest before we hit the road tomorrow and hopefully get up towards the National Park. Yeah, see what's up around there. Some beautiful waterfalls and stuff. Go have a look at them. Stay away from the monkeys. So we just had a beautiful little chat down while we're waiting for some sunglasses to come. As you can see, nice pair of sunnies. Um, 75, 75,000? Yeah, each, it's about $7.50 Australian. Uh, just to keep the dust out of our eyes so that you know, we can just keep riding through the town and not have to worry about anything else. I'm trying to squeeze this gap here, just give me a sec. Still only doing 40. <laughs> oh, this is the bumpiest road, but good fun. We're off the highway, there's no cars around. Beautiful little area, I don't know if you can see much of it, but it's just all restaurants, hotels, lots of little markets, and you can see up along the beach. There's all the little umbrellas and stuff, you can sit down underneath. Have a beer. Massage. Oh, a Datsun. Oh, that was the sickest 200B. Um, yeah, sorry, got distracted by the sick Datsun. I'm gonna stop vlogging now and just enjoy my ride for a little bit. Adios. Yeah, hot. Need a shower, need some sleep. It's been a good day. Alright, so we're just riding around Chengu at the moment, having a look, seeing what's about. Oh, puppy. As you all know, I love dogs. You don't see one. Pretty, pretty tired. Like, I've had four hours of sleep. Been on the road for three hours, getting through the river, and the heaviest traffic. Just, yeah, knackered. Oh fuck. Puppies of home puppies. Yeah. Too bad there's a lot of construction. So this place is gonna get real busy in the next few years. Seems to be pretty popular with the younger crowd. Um, there's pooters full of all the you know, the oldies. The ones that have been going there forever and that know everyone and get the best prices. You gotta get out, man, and get further out. Just explore. I guess you might know some of the people there, but yeah. Once you leave, it's on to the next tourist that they know. So it's their life, that's how they live. Get out, explore. See the world for what it is. Down at the Black Sand Beach in Kangu. Changu. I don't know how you call it. it spells Kangu, but anyway. Some little umbrellas and shit further down, so we're gonna hopefully get a nice little umbrella and have a drink and get sunburned. Sound good, Mick? Cool little thing, sunbeds and stuff. Not bad. Thank you, my man. Sitting up at the top of one of these little beach things, and we're all having a cider because we deserve it. We've had a long day of riding, and it's sun. It's good. Sit here and watch the views. I think that's, that's it now. If you want to do a trip over here, yep. and then go to Gilly from here. Yep. But if you don't want to go to Gilly, 
come down all the way here, go to Sanur. Have you been to Sanur? No. Sanur is beautiful. Yeah. So Sanur, and then might be last trip in Uluwatu, right here. Yeah, you can see the Uluwatu from here. So Ulu, Uluwatu Temple. Yeah. Go. Yeah, in Maine. Okay, now where you can see the uh, dolphins. Yep. It's beautiful there. So where I live yeah. in Mandra, there's we have lots and lots of dolphins. We oh. take out my little tinny, and there's always dolphins jumping. And yeah. 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 Even in Ahmed, sometimes you see dolphins. Yeah, right. In the morning. So Ahmed, they have two sides. One side is uh, sunset, and yep. another side is sunrise. Yeah, right. So if you stay in one place, like uh, on the hill, yep. So in the morning you see the sunrise, in the afternoon you see the sunset. Oh, no. Nice. Because yeah. they are uh, uh, like, like a point. Yeah, yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. My pleasure. Thank you, brother. That's, yeah. that's going to help us a lot. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> All right, looks like we have half a plan. <laughs> Thanks to sitting down having a chat to the local fellow, he's drawing us a plan. So see where we go from here. So your first impression of the go been a couple of hours now. We got bar inside though, it's not bad. It's not bad, good view of the beach. It's pretty chilly right compared to like further up south. Yeah the shade. Yeah the shade. <laughs> yeah, it's stinking hot in Kuta earlier. This is actually quite nice. What about you Corey? What are your first thoughts on Kungu? Preparing it over Kuta. Nice down up here, isn't it? Oh, very nice. Very so, I reckon we're going to see a side of Bali we've never seen before and actually really like Bali over the tourist ship. Yeah. So, Kangoo gets a tick on our books. Nice places, nice restaurants, and it's not too far out, yeah. Really nice view. <laughs> and doggos. After extensive cuddles with the local hotel puppy, we settled in for the night, ready for the epic adventure to come. <laughs>